Hello all dear champions, I am Abhinav Negi and Joshi sir welcome you all on Baiju's exam prep civil mechanical exe YouTube channel. When in you are in your B.Tech and you are aiming for a higher post graduation degree such as M.Tech, you dream of the best of the colleges. And when the term comes best of the colleges, the first thing comes to a student which is who is in India is IITs and ISCs. But among all the IITs and ISC, which is the better? That answer we will be telling you in this particular session. And let me tell you guys, I don't know, we don't know that when you are consuming this video, right now it is March or February 2023. According to that, our answers will be yes. Okay, All over right. to Joshi sir. Yes, thank you so much sir. So guys, uh, as soon as you decide that, uh, so there are basically certain type of uh, students or the category we can say we can divide all of them in certain categories. Number one are those who actually wants to go to IIT because they are uh, uh, like having this dream of getting a placement or they are having a dream to get a research job or research based job or maybe they want to go for PhD and then they have to do postdoc and they want to be a professor or there will be third category who wants to look for the only option as IIT so that they can prepare for other examinations simultaneously. So when we say all these three, definitely not all IITs are going to give you all three of them. So all of them are having these things like they will give you the opportunity for placement for research work as well as for preparation but the proportion is different from all of the IITs. So today in this session, in this quick session, we are going to tell you the best IIT if you want to prepare for GATE or maybe GMAT or maybe UPSC civil services or maybe IES or maybe God knows if in future you get IRMS. All right, and then we'll talk about uh, the placement scenario also if you want to go for placement and then the one that some of you are looking for that is the best IIT for research so that they can go for their PhD, postdoc and so on. So let's uh, show them okay. so. Okay guys, so for research, for placement and for government job preparation, which IITs are better? For all these three cases, research, placement and preparation, answers will be different. So let us take first question that which IIT or which of the IITs are best for the placement. So let us go one by one. So IIT Mumbai comes to my mind or everybody's mind first when it comes to placement. Hmm. So guys, it is not like that that placement companies are only going to IIT Bombay or some of the IITs that I'm telling you next. But yes, if you see the average package of last few years, then the average package of IIT Mumbai is much higher than other IITs. And maybe the reason is because the students of IIT Mumbai are not very much oriented towards the government job preparation, but they are oriented to the preparation itself or they are oriented to the placement itself. So that is why the average package of IIT Mumbai is highest among all the IITs. Now, sir. Next is IC Bangalore. So IC Bangalore, if you see, um, yes, in the list of uh, placement colleges, it is on second, but maybe in other list, it will be on top. You never know. We'll talk about that also. So IC Bangalore, as you all know, it itself, like its uh, position, its geographical location, make it the very well or very good option for the companies to come to the college and take placements. As you know, it is in Bangalore and Bangalore is startup hub of India or you can say IT hub of India, one of the IT hub of the India. So that is the reason why you get a very good opportunities when it comes to placement from ISC Bangalore. Okay. And let me tell you one more point here, guys, that IC Bangalore's packages might be little less or the number of opportunities might be little less not due to the IC Bangalore but due to the environment there because most of the students who are pursuing their post graduation degree from IC Bangalore are looking for a PhD also or postdoc also. Hmm. So that fraction makes their package little or number of placements little less than IIT Mumbai. Okay. It is the college with the highest uh, cutoff for MTech admission. Yes. So that's why it makes sense. Yes. So next. Then the third in the list might be surprise for many of you is the IIT Kharagpur. Guys, let me tell you why the name of IIT Delhi, IIT Rudki or IIT BHU is not in the list. Not because of any problem in infrastructure or placement cell, but because of the student's orientation, there is no right. placement, it is something else. Okay, that is not the fault of IIT, but that is something ambience related hmm. to ambience. The uh, ambience of IIT Delhi or Rudki is not in the placement size. Mostly if I say for the civil and mechanical or electrical branches. 
Now, the fourth one is IIT Madras. And let me tell you, in IIT Madras also, one branch is that is ocean engineering hmm. for civil engineers. <laughs> right. And that is not available in all other IITs. And only the ocean engineering, if you see, na, the placement is much, much more than the structural engineering also. Because any company who has ocean engineering mein, uh, students, hai, they have only one option, IIT Madras. Right. And when the, if, if the game is of demand and supply, then IIT Madras is in the upper hand there. Okay, so the fourth is IIT Madras. Let's go now to the government job preparation and the IITs are as obvious the IIT Delhi, IIT BHU and the IIT of Joshi Sir Road Key. Okay, so Joshi Sir, about all these three. Uh, sir, I would like to just uh, tell everyone this one thing. Guys, which college is going to be better for preparation? It used to be, I would say, these this list, right? It used to be true like four years back also five years back also because of again their geographical location right delhi most of the coachings used to be in delhi only but now things have changed right now things are online now you can study from anywhere doesn't matter where you are number one number two is uh, yes these college have you can say ambience again i'll tell you as sir has suggested you or earlier also it depends on the ambience of the students and the college which led them towards placement preparation or phd so here the ambience is like this only you go to the library of it delhi bhu or rurki you will see people who are preparing for either civil services or engineering service examination right so this is one thing and the third thing is most important point that is going to help you in understanding whether it is good for preparation or not actually everything depends on the guide that you are having in your college if the guide is going to be lenient you are going to have sufficient time to prepare but remember remember one thing if you are focusing towards your research work when the guide is expecting you and in the later time you are preparing for gate or any other exam no guide will stop you right that is the whole point but yes all in all if you see then these three colleges are a good option if you want to prepare for any government job or anything like that like mba maybe you want to go outside india that also you can do okay guys sir i said very correctly that these three iits are the top choices of the students who want to pursue for engineering services or any other government exam even four years five years even in my time 2011 12 13 also now as sir has said the students have gone to online mm. but sir has again said correctly still even after the feature of online is available mm. still these iits are better because students are going there for ambience, ambience. So students are going for iit delhi or Udki because either uh, to the coaching facilities plus MBS. Now the coaching facilities for every student, even for IIT Madras also, Gohati also, or uh, Kanyakumari also, the coaching facilities is the same because if Joshi sir is teaching you online F F FM, then the student of Kanyakumari and student of Delhi will be getting the same concept same con at the same time. Hmm. But the second point, that is the ambience. That ambience is still here in these three colleges only. That is much more helping the students for the preparation for the upcoming exam. Let me tell you the story of IIT 2012 and 2014 batch, IIT Delhi Geotechnical Engineering, my batch. One student was Lajit Kumar Bhardwaj. He was from NIT Calicut. And when he was in four years down in Kela, he does not want to prepare for engineering services. His goal was to go for the placement. But after coming to IIT Delhi, he was with us for two years. Then he's saying that all the, out of all the 13 students in the geotech, everybody is preparing, everybody is preparing. So his goal is also inclined towards the government. And eventually he was selected in IOC officer after the first year. And then at last he was selected in engineering services also. So that is the help of ambience. Now let us go to the last part as per research, Joshi sir. Right. So guys, uh, I think these colleges are no surprise to anyone because I see Bangalore and IIT Kanpur, they are very, 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 very focused on the research work. And also they have very renounced, you can say the PhD of, if you have PhD from IC Bangalore or PhD of IIT Kanpur, see what actually happens is in PhD or maybe in a postdoc, everything depends on the study that you are having so obviously here the facilities they are accordingly like that only number one number two the guides you are going to get they are going to be very helpful with you all these things and number three if you go outside india if you want to pursue half of the phd outside india or postdoc outside india then these colleges are having a very good success rate and like i would say most of the students who are pursuing phd they have access 
टू गो आउटसाइड इंडिया फॉर देअर फर्दर स्टडीज और फर्दर रिसर्च ऑल्सो राइट सो आई सी बैंगलोर एंड आई टी कानपुर दे आर ऑल टाइम नंबर वन इन टर्म्स ऑफ रिसर्च पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड आई एम टेलिंग यू दिस इज माई पर्सनल ओपिनियन ऑल्सो दे आर द वर्स्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिपेयर दिस इज दे आर वर्स्ट बिकॉज सर दे आर टाइम पे कहावत थी आई टी कानपुर सर दो साल में हम टेक कर ही सकते हैं हाँ सर इट इज ट्रू ऑल्सो माई रूममेट इन आई टी रुड़की वॉज हैविंग हिज ट्विन ब्रदर इन आई टी कानपुर so he used to tell us that they are so 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 strict when it comes to academics that people who are there it is very difficult for them to focus on any other thing except their academics of that particular duration so that is the one thing right good the best i would say for research work but if you are actually trying to prepare for something try not to choose them right this is the suggestion that we wanted to give you okay if you go to the library of these it ah. na, then you will be finding the students finding the research volume ah. and if you go to the library of it <laughs> delhi and rudki you will be finding the students are reading their coaching booklets Correct. or notes for preparation of government Correct. exam okay so guys i hope you enjoyed this please let me know your comments on the comment box and what more videos you like we will be coming both for those such topics See you soon take care thank you keep sharing this video and subscribe the channel for more such interesting and wonderful videos thank you